Okay, so if you have completed uh, this step, this is uh, the actual aspect that your robot will have. But still, it is not a robot. There's one more step to, let's say, have a proper robot. Why? Because if we run here uh, the simulation, you will see that, indeed, all parts still fall apart. That's because there's no hierarchy... Uh, sorry, there's no hierarchy uh, between the objects. So, joints are not connecting the objects. And that's something we saw already or previously in a different video. So, let's start by creating a hierarchy. So, the, the key uh, idea is that all pure objects like the robot base will be uh, the parent of or the root of all objects. Uh, this uh, robot here will drag or will include all other non uh, uh, pure objects like uh, in this case that could be attached to them like for instance in this case uh, the dyer base here the front and so on okay this is the idea okay to uh, include all of them also we'll include uh, the left join and the right join which are the joints for the wheels okay these two joints, this joint here, will include as a child the wheel itself. So the wheel is, uh, let me see, left pure wheel here, that one. So we have to drag it inside the joint, so to make it a child. And we have to do the same thing with the right wheel pure here, and drag it inside uh, the other wheel, okay, the other joint. And then we have, uh, for instance, this uh, joint here, let me see, uh, this caster joint here. This joint here will be included in the robot. And then we have this object here, yeah, that one, which has to be included inside this caster joint. And then you have another joint, which is the horizontal one, which is that one. Yeah, and include the actual well inside. Yeah, and you have to do the same for uh, the servo arms. Okay, uh, so if it happens that uh, whenever you uh, play the simulation, uh, still the robot uh, maybe falls, uh, let's say, uh, because uh, it falls upwards because of maybe there's uh, you have to adjust the mass of some of the components to make it uh, let's say stable because that could happen if you, if these two parts here are actually uh, pr uh, creating an overweight on the front and could fall down and that's not realistic because these parts are made of plastic and they are very light okay so maybe you need to adjust some of the dynamic properties to actually have a stable robot thank you very much